Hi there. Now for this question then, we've got to solve this simultaneous equation involving logs. And you can see that this equation at the top here has got three terms in. And what I need to do is use the method of substitution. Reduce this down to an equation just with x's and y's in, no logs. So because it's got three terms in, I need to create two terms. One term on one side of the equals and one term on the other side. So what we'll do is we'll start with equation one. So I'll say from one and then I'm going to use the division rule here to create one term. That is, we end up with the log of x divided by two. And on the right hand side here, use the power rule. This is the same as the log of y squared. Now I've reduced this down to two terms, a log on each side, so I can just anti-log this and I end up with x over 2 equals y squared. And if I multiply through by 2, I end up with x equals 2y squared. I'm going to call this equation 3 and now I'm going to substitute x equals 2y squared into equation 2. So just put a note here that I'm going to do that and that is sub 3 into equation 2. And doing that I end up with 2y squared here for x, 2y squared then minus 5y plus 2 equals 0. So I've got a quadratic equation. And in the usual way, we just factorise that. And if you factorise it, you end up with 2y minus 1 multiplied by y minus 2. And each of these factors then must be equal to 0. So we just put that in. 2y minus 1 must equal 0 or y minus 2 must equal 0. And that leads to y equaling a half or y equaling 2. And now I can substitute each of these values. Let's say we start with y equals a half. I substitute these into either equation 1, 2 or 3. Obviously 3 is the best one here. It gives us x straight away. So I'm going to say substitute that into 3. If we do that, we therefore end up with x equaling 2 times y squared. So y is a half. 2 times a half squared gives me x equaling a half. I do exactly the same again. This time I'm going to substitute y equals 2 in equation 3. And that gives me x equaling 2 times 2 squared, which gives me 8. So we therefore have two sets of solutions. We have x equals a half when y equals a half or the other solution is x equals 8 when y equals 2. Okay.